Hey, I'm Darren Dowling, team leader of the Dowling Group at Beyond Realty, and let's cover home equity and why it's a source of strength for homeowners today. Experts agree there's no chance of a large scale foreclosure crisis like we saw back in 2008. And that's good news for the housing market. As Mark Fleming, chief economist at First American says, quote, don't expect a housing bust like the mid 2000s as lending standards in this housing cycle have been much tighter and homeowners have historically high levels of home equity. So there likely won't be a surge in foreclosures. Data from the Mortgage Bankers Association helps to tell the story. It shows the overall percentage of homeowners at risk is decreasing significantly with time. But even though the volume of homeowners at risk is very low, there is still a small percentage of homeowners who may be coming face to face with foreclosure as a possibility today. If you're facing difficulties yourself, it can help to understand your options. It starts with knowing what foreclosure is. Investopedia defines it like this, quote, typically default is triggered when a borrower misses a specific number of monthly payments. Foreclosure is the legal process by which a lender attempts to recover the amount owed on a defaulted loan by taking ownership of and selling the mortgaged property. The good news is there are alternatives available to help you avoid going through the foreclosure process, including reinstatement, loan modification, deed in lieu of foreclosure, and short sale. But before you go down any of those paths, it's worth seeing if you have enough equity in your home to sell it and protect your investment. You may be able to use your equity to sell your house. Equity is the difference between what you owe on your home and its market value based on factors like price appreciation. In today's real estate market, many homeowners have far more equity in their homes than they realize due to the home price appreciation we've seen over the past few years. According to CoreLogic, quote, the total average equity per borrower has now reached almost $300,000, the highest in the data series. So what does this mean for you? If you've lived in your house for the last few years or more, chances are your home's value and your equity have risen dramatically. In addition, the mortgage payments you've made during that time chipped away at the balance of your loan. If your home's current value is higher than what you still owe on your loan, you may be able to use the increase to your advantage. Rick Sharga, Executive VP of Market Intelligence at Atom Data explains how equity can help. Quote, very few of the properties entering the foreclosure process have reverted to the lender at the end of the foreclosure. We believe that this may be an indication that borrowers are leveraging their equity and selling their homes rather than risking the loss of their equity in the foreclosure auction. Lean on experts to explore your options. To find out how much equity you have, work with a local real estate professional. They can give you an estimate of what your house could sell for based on recent sales of similar homes in the area. You may be able to sell your house to avoid foreclosure. If you find out you have to pursue other options, your agent can help you with that too. They'll be able to connect you with other professionals in the industry, like housing counselors, who can look into the unique situation and offer advice on your next steps if selling isn't your best alternative. Ladies and gents, here's the bottom line. If you're a homeowner facing hardship, let's get together so you have an expert on your side to explore your options to see if you can sell your house to avoid foreclosure. That's all we've got time for in this episode. I do hope this content has helped and no one really is massively affected by foreclosures in our local market here in Sarasota and Manatee County. But again, as always, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next week.